guys, it's Matt here. Um, first off, happy Pokemon anniversary, 20 years, 27th of the 2nd, 2016. Anyway, Bravely Second and Layered Deluxe Collector's Edition. I will be unboxing this today for you guys. Cost me 170 Australian dollars. And yeah, um, the box looks really amazing compared, well, even the first one, Bravely Default, the Collector's Edition was really nice. And yeah, so I'm looking forward to opening this. So, if you look at the back here, you can kind of see what is in here. Oh man, this is... Okay, there we go. So yeah, this is listed what's on the back. I like how it mentions that the figurines on an amiibo. Because some people might think that. Alright, so... Cool, that is awesome. It's um, and then you just like lift it up oh that's amazing oh my god that art is beautiful so here is um the soundtrack with the three musketeers unfortunately yeah it's like a mini album so it's like 10 songs but still that's like that's pretty good and i don't know i really like um video game osts and stuff here's the little figurine I'm interested that they took this approach compared to the other one, how they had like the, like the figure of like Agnes or however you pronounce her name, like roughly like this high, but then they changed to the miniature one. There were a lot of complaints about the other one though, due to like the face and stuff. So, so yeah, here's the game. Our, um, our cover art is going to be different to the American one. I think the American one has the picture of Tiz that's like on the back of the collector's edition and underneath, there's nothing in here. Underneath is the book. Okay, so I thought it was going to be a hardcover. It's like, it's just paper. So that's, um, that's interesting. And yeah, I'll just quickly open this for you guys. And then skim a few pages. Okay, so it's got um, it's got like a book cover on there. So that's the cover without. So yeah, it's um, it's it's literally just an art book, but it's it's amazing. Like, I won't go through every page, of course, but yeah, I'm interested in reading this in my own time. And wow, oh, there's like even a little um, manga kind of adaptation. So that is cool. That is really cool. I'll unbox the figurine so you guys can see what she looks like without trying to damage the box. Oh man, that stick is really gross. So this is um, what the figure looks like. Unfortunately, there will probably be people complaining about the face again, but other than that, like, I'm not too picky, like, I think it looks really nice. And yeah, I wonder if they'll release any more in, like, as, like, standalone purchases with this kind of figure, because it, it does look pretty good, and it'd be good to have more for the collection. Also, because I pre-ordered, I got these, um, these four, um, I don't even know how to pronounce this, um, Gathelatio. Gath so, I don't know, that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully, a lot of you guys pre-ordered and got that bonus too. And yeah. Um, one last look at the box. So, it's just like... Yeah, just open it up and... I don't know, it's, it's really good. Um, the quality of the box, I would personally say... An uh, 8 out of 10. Like, it feels really nice. Um, you can definitely, like, store other stuff if you wanted to. Um, yeah, this is definitely worth keeping. Um... The figurine, I would probably say maybe a 6 out of 10. Like, I like it, but I did like the the bigger one, like, from the previous Bravely Default Clicks edition. Um, game, I can't rate because I haven't played, of course. The soundtrack, I haven't listened to, but um, it should be pretty good. Um, and yeah, the book, like, just from skimming through, I already rate the book like a 9 out of 10. It just looks beautiful, amazing. And yeah, 
So sorry about the quick unboxing and sorry about the lack of uploads, a lot of crap's been happening. But yeah, um, I'll make sure to have more up, like more unboxings and other stuff in the near future. Just got to get some stuff sorted and yeah. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it and I'll catch you later. Peace out.